Hey guys, Rob Baldwin here, I'm X Productions, and first video I want to make of the year today is a little bit of a different video, but it's about this right here, the Apple Watch. And I recently had um, a bit of a known issue with my Apple Watch, and I found a fix for it, a solution that might, if you're having this issue, might save you a pretty expensive trip to the Apple Store. Okay, so a little background on this particular issue, if you're unfamiliar with it, known as the green snake of death, sounds pretty horrible, but basically what's going on is your Apple Watch uh, dies, and for some reason, it gets stuck on that charging screen. There's the red charging screen if you're not plugged in, and then when you plug it, it turns to green, um, the green snake of death, and it says tells you to charge. Now, for some reason, um, at this point, you can keep it plugged in for 48 hours or more, it will never charge. Um, so I looked into this, I uh, did some research online, found a lot of people are having this issue. This is a common issue. And a lot of people are going to the Apple store and going to the Genius Bar and setting up an appointment. And basically what they're being told is it's a faulty battery. And if you don't have Apple Care, it's gonna cost you some different forms at anywhere from 200 to $400 to get this fixed. At that point, $400, you may as well buy a new Apple Watch. But uh, this fix here, I did find in one of the forums and it doesn't seem to be anywhere on YouTube, which is why I'm making this video. This will save you that trip, okay? So here's what you do. First thing you wanna do is you want to let your watch die completely, no power. Cause when you're clicking on it, if it's not plugged in, you're clicking on it, you're getting the red snake uh, charging screen. That means there's still, there's still a bit of power in there since it's able to show you that screen. So I let mine sit for about two full days, uh, un unplugged, and I would go check it every couple hours and just click, 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 and that red screen would pop up. So keep it off the charger until it completely dies. Okay, after that, plug it in. Now when I plug this, I, mine died. I let it died in the morning. It was, you know, I wasn't getting the screen. I let it go another day just to be, just for good measure. That night I plugged it in. I saw the green snake at first, so I was kind of cringing. Uh, went to sleep next morning, touch the watch and I get the familiar um, uh, nightstand mode where it shows you the, shows you the time. And oh my God, I was so happy. I turned the watch on and put in my code and the watch was back to normal. Um, one extra step, it might be redundant, might not be, might not, might not help or whatever, but I did unpair. Uh, while the watch was still in, in like dead mode on my phone, I unpaired the, the watch. And then when it was back to, nor when the watch was back to normal, I had to go through the whole repairing uh, step. But, so I don't know if this is a useful step or I did it anyways, but the main thing is let it die and then recharge from a completely dead state. I had this thing before, the green snake. I had it plugged in for almost 48 hours, no change. It would not go past the green snake screen. Um, let it die completely and then plug it in. It should reset and you'll see that Apple screen and it'll reload the watch and then you'll have saved yourself two to $400 for a new faulty battery, which is really not the case if it's able to come back this way. Okay, so hopefully this video has helped you out. Hopefully, um, if you have run into this issue, then you're not gonna waste your money on a new Apple Watch when it works just fine. Okay, let's see you next time. This is Rob Alden. If you like this video, please uh, comment below, or click, click the subscribe button. If you're not subscribed yet, hit that bell to get notif notified when I make new videos, and let me know what you think. Let me know what kind of videos you'd like to see. We'll see you next time. This is Rob Baldwin. Cheers.